Hello Year 6. Today our learning objective is to write from the point of view of a character within the narrative. We are going to be writing from the point of view of a character within a narrative, a soldier within the boat. Before we begin writing, we are going to generate our own success criteria. What do we need to include in our writing? Write a list for yourself of what you'd expect to see in your own writing, particularly now that you're at home. What would you write if you were in class? What would you make sure you would include? Think about what we have done so far this year. Pause the video where you write a quick checklist that you will try to meet as you're writing. Okay, so I expect to see show don't tell sentences, exciting and ambitious vocabulary, questions that the soldier might ask himself, a range of punctuation. Remember, year sixes, capital letters and full stops are essential, but try to use more advanced punctuation too. If we are writing from the point of view of the soldier, what person do we write? we'll be writing the first person. So we are going to look at modelled writing throughout this task. You're going to have lots of examples of what you could write. However, I would like you to try your very best to not copy the examples that we have given you, but to try and think of your own ideas similar to what we have shown. So Begin your narrative by using three short sentences for effect to describe three emotions your character is feeling. For example, fear, anxiety, apprehension. This will be sentences one, two and three. Sentence four. Continue your narrative by using another short sentence for effect that shows the reader the atmosphere within the boat. Imagine you are sat within that boat. How would you feel? An example of this is silence filled the air or the air was haunted by silence. If you think about it, not a sound was made by any of the soldiers. They could just hear the rushing of the waves outside the boat. Sentences five and six. Now describe why no one is speaking. Even though there was so much to be said, the fear that flooded our bodies had paralysed us all. We were statues frozen in time, our eyes fixed firmly ahead on our destination. Try and write two sentences explaining why nobody is speaking. What is in their head? What are they thinking about? Sentences seven to eight. Describe your surroundings. Think about what you can see, hear, touch, taste and smell. For example, beneath us, the, the waves crashed violently against the steel frame of the boat, jolting us back and forth, back and forth. Their movement reminded us that we were still at sea, still at the mercy of God. So two sentences describing your, your surroundings and how that is affecting your mood and what you are thinking about. Sentences nine to 10. Ask some rhetorical questions, questions that are not meant to be answered. For example, why us? Why now? Sentences 11 to 14. Describe your thoughts of your impending death death. Surely someone else, anyone else could have gone in our place. Here we sat, sardines in a can, literally staring death in the face. What awaited us, awaited us on the shore we all knew, yet for some unknown reason none of us dared to utter those words. Our thoughts aloud. It was supposed to be over by Christmas. Sentences 15 to 16. Bring your thoughts back to the task at hand. For example, the words of the captain interrupted my thoughts, awakening me from my daydream. My eyes once again focused on the approaching shoreline. Sentences 16 to 
Sentences 17, 17 to 18. Describe what you can see on the shore. For example, on the horizon I could vaguely make out the line of the shore, like soldiers standing proudly in formation, defences lined the shoreline. Sentences 19 to 22. Ask more rhetorical questions. Who awaited us there? What awaited us there? Who knows? One thing was certain, it wasn't going to be easy. Sentences 23 to 24. Show the reader how you are feeling. For example, this sense of the unknown is almost too much to bear. My heart now pounding deep within my chest and beads of perspiration falling on my, head, my forehead. With trembling hands, I grappled at my canteen. This is a perfect op opportunity for you to use your work from yesterday. When you have finished, please send in your work to our year six email. Thank you very much. Enjoy your learning.